Hi, I'm Mazhar Hussain and I'm presenting you a VHJ tutorial based on an FPGA port. In this tutorial, you will learn how to install softwares that are used in demo videos for this course. One can download Xilinx IAC Design Suite to program and simulate VHDL code. And Diginet Adapt to download the code in the FPGA. Xilinx IC as a software package containing a graphical IDE, design entry tools, a simulator, a synthesizer, and implementation tools to simulate or program FPGA. To work on your own computers, a limited version of Xilinx IC webpack can be downloaded for free from Xilinx website. See the link below. If you go to Xilinx.com website and click on Downloads, you will get a page that offers different software packages. Choose IC Design Tools and download the latest version. If you have Windows based computer, you either download a full DVD or use an installer to download the design suit. If you click on installer, you will be asked to register an account with Xilinx. Create a new account by choosing a user ID, email address, password, etc. After creating an account, you will get a download link containing the complete Xilinx IAC design suit in the email address you provided during the registration. If you are getting any kind of error, then just contact Xilinx help and support. After the installation, the next essential step will be to set up a license for IC Design Suit. If you go back to the page we opened earlier, there is a licensing help listed under the quick links. Click on that and expand the headline, Obtain a license for free or evaluation product. According to the listed information, after the installation, the Xilinx License Configuration Manager guides you how to set up a license. After finalizing the setup, now launch the Xilinx IC Design Suit. A screen like that will be displayed. Start a new project. In this dialog box, choose the location of the project. We will name it to test project. Leave top level source type as HDL. Click next. In this dialog box, select the target FPGA device. For example, choose the family Spartan 3E. In this case, the device that is XC3S1200E. This is actually printed on the FPGA core in a very small font. The package FG320, uh, this is the package type of our device, ball grid array, 320 pins for sure. Uh, speed grade, uh, the speed grade for this device is minus five. XST as the synthesis tool, iSIM as simulator, and VHDL as preferred language. Now click next and finish. Now you can see source pane with project hierarchy and navigation window, as well as process pan, editor pan to write VHDL code, and transcript pan to see the errors and warnings after the compilation. As I said earlier, in Xilinx Design Suite, one can program and simulate the VHDL code. Usually, the final step of various projects involve downloading the code into an FPGA. The tutorials in this course use Nexus 2 FPGA board from Digilent and they provide a graphical interface adapt for programming the FPGA. If you are using Windows PC, you can download adapt from here. After installing the adapt, launch the program. Connect the Nexus 2 board via USB cable to your PC or a laptop. When Adapt is open and if Nexus 2 FPGA board is connected, it should recognize the FPGA board. See the upper right corner 
displaying the name of the board which is Nexus 2. A simple test to check if everything is working on FPGA board can be performed through this interface. For example, by moving switches or push buttons on FPGA board, one can see the immediate response on the ADAPT screen. A RAM and flash test is also available to test the memory elements on evaluation board. To program the FPGA, select the config tape and upload the .bit file generated from Zilinx IEC design suit. If you done all steps correctly, you will be seeing your project in action on FPGA board. Thank you.